So I've been learning a lot about Australian food recently and friendly Jordy's has got this one called Reviewing Aussie Food. So of course his stuff is always funny man, so I'm interested to see what he's got to say about Australian food. Let's check this out and you can see what you think about it also. Question for you, which Simpsons character are you? And I want you to be honest because everyone's gonna go, oh, I'm Bart Simpson or I'm Lenny or Carl. I want you to be brutally honest with yourself. Are you Kirk Van Houten? Because this video is for you. We are rating the loser meals yeah, that this you is find loser the meals. Worst, that are clearly designed for bachelors. So, stain shirt on, hair frazzled, Let's get sad about circumstances that we don't personally know how to change. <laughs> oh, sorry, the ranking system is how many single beds out of 10. Now, this is confusing because if it is a good single meal, it's obviously going to taste abysmal. So 10 single beds means that it tastes awful. One single bed means that it's pretty good. So it's like golf. You're aiming for one single bed. Also, I should probably take down my zip. <laughs> Our first a la carte menu item is from Papa Giuseppe's Pizza, rising stuffed crust. I know man, he's talking about bad food here, but that actually looks so good to me, man. I, and I, I've said on the previous fast food uh, video I made, I'm not ashamed, I like bad food, man. That actually just looks so good. <laughs> I wonder who invented this. It must have been that fat guy that died in his apartment and they needed a crane to lift him out. And here is what <laughs> it actually looks like. Which is classic single loser food. It's like when you go into a kebab shop and the photos of the kebab look worse than the actual kebab. <laughs> Holy hell. I'm sorry to sound like every Guido food presenter on Netflix, but this is awesome. <laughs> mm. Two single beds out of 10, under par, this is perfect. If you have low self-esteem, this is not for you. Up next we have, without a <laughs> doubt, the funniest of the meat pie frozen selections. And I know that you're thinking that it's four and 20, wrong. Sergeants, your guarantee of quality. Mm, and doesn't it look it? Appetizing. Sadly, it does not pass the kebab test as the actual product looks way worse. And where's the sergeants on it? This pie is just a GI. It's got no badge. We were using Master Foods tomato sauce, pretty much because I stole it from a company picnic. Ugh. That is worse than the pies you used to get at the canteen. Even the pastry tastes bad. That tastes like hot cardboard. Let me just taste a bit of the meat before we give it the stock standard single mattress bed ranking. How do you screw up mince meat? Ugh. And it has the aftertaste of this old Master Foods tomato sauce. To be fair, that's not actually Sargent's fault, but I'm also not a professional judge like the ones you see on Iron Chef, so I can't distinguish it from it. And as a result, I'm gonna have to give that seven and a half single beds out of 10. It was worse than I thought, and clearly I went in with very low expectations. Oh. Yeah, like that one didn't look as appetizing as the first one, but are frozen pies common? Is that something people eat? I know that pies are very popular in Australia, of course, but I would imagine we'd always be like fresh and getting them in restaurants and things. What about the frozen pie sector? Is that popular? Yeah, very excited about the next one. McCain's, I'm assuming is Aussie, probably not anymore, but also cheese and bacon pizza pockets. It was a good day when you got that at school, wasn't it? That was when you came school, to school though. and your pockets were swollen, i.e. you had five bucks in your wallet. I'm already feeling happy. It just releases endorphins holding the box. And obviously because this is about... <laughs> I have life, never I'll seen be that before. The worst butter knife I have to be cutting this to see... That looks like a bread roll, like but, but again, a very I would eat that, man, no, no problem. No, it does no. not. Tasting to see if just like my tastes in comedy have evolved since I'm 12 years old, have my taste buds. And indeed they have. You know when you suck on a lemon and your mouth tastes bitter? Just imagine if that was possible when you ate garbage. I feel my <laughs> eyes focusing outwards because of how bad that was. Eight and a half single beds. Mishu's oh, match bad. microwave giant sausage roll. This is stupid. Another it's Aussie loaded. classic. A, it's giant. B, you can't even be bothered to put it in the oven. It takes 90 seconds. Is to that microwave. giant? It looks pretty small. You have no dignity if you're eating this, do you? To quote Hilary Duff in a song that no one knows she sang, where's your, where's your dignity? You have to refrain <laughs> from touching this too long. It feels like I'm about to eat an ember. Microwave food should have never happened, should it? It's not an advancement, it's a mistake. I'll just chow down to this as close to the plate as possible so I don't get crumbs anywhere and then I only have to clean up one thing. 
the fact that it's 100% Aussie beef does not assuage me at all. It was so bad tasting that I don't care if it came from beef that was harvested in the Amazon. I just wish it tasted better than that. Eight single beds out of ten. We're gonna. That's a shame, man. Yeah, like, I, just, I didn't realize that like things like pies and sausage rolls, like frozen ones, would be so popular. But I guess it makes sense since that's just a popular meal in Australia. But Again, man, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't eat that. I would be eating these sort of things, man. Maybe because I'm lazy. Maybe because I'm like, I come, I grew up eating like food like this, man. Just easy to be made food. Uh, in the UK, like, if you look at British food like this, it's all just that tan color, man. I, I grew up eating I like reveal on garbage this like this, man. How shocking the reality it. is. Linguizine steamed spice sardé beef with rice actually looks like this. Am I in hell? What did I do to deserve this? Even if you've watched every season of the American Office over and over again, which is what single men do for some reason, you do not deserve this treatment. And we're gonna be mixing this in. God, Lean Cuisine clearly got this idea from Vegas who sells their buffet food to pig farmers. This is a trough. You're eating from a disposable trough. That's the true. ghost of this cow must be very angry that it ended up in this. It should have at least <laughs> been in a ragu or something, not steamed spice satay beef with rice from lean cuisine. I think maybe after you have a few drinks, maybe that no, may be appetizing. Taste. That's remarkable. They've got one of the most flavoursome meals from Thailand because that's pretty much the kids menu. It's just like fish and chips or satay chicken skewers. They've got that and made it taste like a rice cake. How did they do it? I highly recommend that you never eat this. Because it's so plain, five single beds out of 10. This next one's what I've been dreading the most. I hate to sound like a BBC reporter in Syria, but the smell is overpowering. <laughs> it really is. And look at it. Doesn't that look like something Clive Palmer eats? This product is, or punishment's probably more accurate. Karma? This karma in Weight a box watches. is Weight Watchers chicken and mushroom fettuccine. The photographs look so good, but that looks... That Ugh. is orphan gruel. Who's <laughs> buying this food? This is the reason that you're sad and your life doesn't work. It's not the other way around. You don't eat this because you're sad. You eat this once and then your entire life goes <laughs> to tatters. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, the cream. Who likes creamy pasta at the best of times? This is a I do like creamy pasta, nature. but... Whoever made that should go straight to hell. Ugh, we shouldn't be treating fat people like this. You know how people are always <laughs> saying, comedians have the hardest job in the world. No, the MILF that has to sell that on daytime TV and go, Oh, and it cooks in just 90 seconds and tastes great. Coming up next, we'll be interviewing Sonia Kruger. I think this is our highest rating so far. Nine single beds out of ten. Think yeah. about how high that Even is. Just by how looks, often do you that see a like nine bad, out of ten hot chick slash dude? Never. I think they went out of their way to make that shit. <laughs> and finally, the piece of resistance. We saved what is without a doubt going to be the best for last because it is from on the menu pub favourite. And listen to the advertisement on this. Tender pieces of lamb shank, slow cooked with delicious red wine and rosemary sauce, served with creamy mashed potatoes and veggies. Fuck off, it doesn't even <laughs> look like that in the ad. Creamy mashed potatoes, that looks harder than an uncooked potato. The peas are so dehydrated, they look like little hundred year old Japanese men. We're going in. What the fuck? Jesus. Very disappointing aftertaste. <laughs> I don't know who they're aiming for with this graphic design. It's probably <laughs> miners in Perth, but you know what? Lean Cuisine was so much more offensive than that. So oh was Weight God. Watchers. On the menu, oh, doing a pretty thing, decent man. job. And nah. therefore, if you are single, you should... I've, I've actually got tears the coming out of my eyes. I don't, <laughs> I don't know something about that, man. Just looks... I don't know, man. That just looks terrible, man. I mean, like... <laughs> menu doing a pretty decent job and therefore if you are oh single God. you shouldn't be eating this this should be exclusively for when you're on the road there's no mcdonald's in the town so your only option okay. is to go to woolies just before it closes and get something quick this is not for single men this is for men that are away from their wives 70 percent of the time four semi-trailers out of 10 oh, that's actually like truck good drivers, you know how as a 12 year old you have no duties in life apart from every time you see a truck go past it you have to go do it <laughs> do it. <Boom>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing that to you right now. Like it. Like the video. Yes. Oh, what a legend. And if you didn't, 
you're gonna get the same treatment. Oh. Subscribe. Go subscribe to him, man. Just like amazing content every time, like. But yeah, that last one, it looked quite sad. But uh, I mean, what can I say? Although it's all like easily cooked things, I'll eat it, man. I, I I'm not gonna need to sit here and deny. It. I mean, especially if my like wife's working late. I'll definitely be eating like this and I'm not going to deny it, man. I'm not going to say, wow, yeah, I eat some, like, fine dining cuisine every day, man. Maybe sometimes, but I'll be eating stuff like this and I don't even care, man. But tell me if you eat things like this. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me if you've tried any of these and what you think about it. Thanks.